to the growing investigation into Russian meddling in the presidential election, we're hearing new details from a key participant at that 2016 Trump Tower meeting that's been under the microscope. This is the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, faces new questions from Senate investigators about WikiLeaks. ABC's David Wright is at the White House tonight with the latest. Tonight, the president's son and son-in-law both face new scrutiny as British publicist Rob Goldstone is finally breaking his silence about that infamous Trump Tower meeting with a Russian lawyer. It was Goldstone who emailed Donald Trump Jr. about dirt on Hillary Clinton from the Kremlin. If it's what you say, I love it, Don Jr. wrote back at the time. Goldstone, a flamboyant promoter who worked with Trump on the Miss Universe pageant in Moscow, now insists he was merely a useful idiot trying to help another client. I should have listened to that little voice in my head, he told the Sunday Times of London, adding, if I'm guilty of anything, and I hate the word guilty, it's hyping the message and going the extra mile for my clients. The Trump Tower meeting did happen, but all sides insist it was not as juicy as advertised. The president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, is facing new scrutiny, too, about WikiLeaks, for one. WikiLeaks! I love WikiLeaks. This WikiLeaks is like a treasure trove. Investigators believe WikiLeaks acted as a conduit to leak Democratic emails hacked by the Russians. Last July, Kushner told Congress he had no contact with WikiLeaks. Mr. Kushner, how was your meeting? Nor did anyone he knew of at the campaign. And I have been fully transparent in providing all requested information. But the Senate Judiciary Committee says Kushner did receive emails about a WikiLeaks overture to Don Jr. back in September 2016. And he forwarded them on. Mr. Kushner has been very clear that he will cooperate as he has been voluntarily with all bipartisan requests from committees on anything that's relevant. He's done it and he'll do it again. Kushner now has until November the 27th to turn over Russia-related documents to Senate investigators. Tom? David, thank you.